Right, for the first stage of our border, we're going to come down. We're going to put in a new empty layer. Coming up, you can see there it is there, layer 1. We're going to use Command A or Control A, which is the same as going to select. There it is, all. Command A or Control A is the shortcut for that. We've made a selection around the outside of our image. Got the default colors. I'm just going to press X on the keyboard, so white is now the foreground color. We're going to go to Edit. We're going to go down to Stroke Outline Selection, which has brought up this dialog box. Stroke, Width, 6 pixels. You can have it whatever width you want by just pulling this back and forth. Or you can just swipe across and you can put in a figure of your own choice, but 6 pixels seems perfectly fine to me. White is the color we set it to. That was the reason for setting the foreground color to white. You can, of course, click in this window and select whatever color you want here from the color picker and just click OK. I'm clicking Cancel. Location, yes, we know where this city is, but uh, the location it's referring to is the location of the stroke. The pixels, the paints here, the location is inside. So in other words, you'll see all of the six pixel stroke line. If you were to click on center, you'd only see three pixels here. You wouldn't see the remaining three who are on the outside of our selection. And outside, you wouldn't see any of the pixels because they're all on the outside of the image. So inside seems like a good choice to me. Click OK to that. There they are, followed by Command D or Control D to deselect. OK, moving on. Let's come down to this layer here. We're going to use Command J, Control J to duplicate our background layer. Coming across to the toolbox, I'm going to press X on the keyboard again to make sure that white is now the background color. We're going to zoom out a little bit to give ourselves a bit more space. Picking up the crop tool, I'm going to come in and we're going to click down and drag the crop tool out over the entire picture. Yes, we're going to use the crop tool to create a border. You'll notice as well I'm working on background copy. I just realized that myself. Never mind continue on with it. Coming in, we got the grab handles. I'm going to press down the Alt or the Option key. Now hold down that Alt or Option key and as you pull it out, you'll notice because you held down the Alt or Option key, you can pull the top and bottom out together. So I'm going to pull it out to around about this area here. Still with that Alt or Option key held down, we can pull out the sides. We can pull out the side to that sort of area there. Now, yeah, of course you could use Canvas uh, to the canvas size, but I like this method because it allows you to try different variables. In other words, you can have slightly narrower on the side or you can have it wider on the side, entirely up to you. And if you release the Alt or the Option key, coming down to the bottom, you can just make this a little bit bigger and perhaps you could put a title in or your name down there on the bottom. So it's a method I like using. Pressing Enter or Return will apply the crop, which has become white. You will notice there it is there. It has actually gone to the background layer. So even though I was working on background copy, this one here, if I switch it off, you'll see it's gone in. If I switch it back on again, you'll see it's gone in. It's a transparency. It's filled the bottom layer there. So it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. Thank goodness for that. Right, next, working on this layer here, our background copy layer. We're going to go to layer. We're going to go to layer styles, style settings. And a style settings opens up this dialog box. We're going to drop down to drop shadow. Clicking on drop shadow, we're going to come to distance. And I'm going to pull the distance out. And you can see the way it sort of moves it like that. If I just pull this in a little bit, so it's just fitting snugly behind the image. Now if we go to size, if I take the size out, you'll notice the way that the drop shadow is now creeping out on the side of the picture there. That's the sort of look I'm after, so taking distance in taking size up. The opacity, you can make it sort of, uh, or you can make it entirely up to you. So in other words, it's slightly less, but it's got a nice sort of 3D look to it. Like the look of that, clicking OK to that. In it goes. It's a layer style. The little FX is telling us so on that. So there it is. That's our finished image. Now, all that remains to be done now is to merge these down together. Command E, Command E again to drop it down. That's what I tend to use, but you know, failing that, it's layer. Merge visible. There's our finished image. Let's just pop this onto a black background. Let's just uh, use tab to get rid of all the keys, and there's our finished image. 
go on, give it a try. We've had a work through right the way from the start of the raw file through to this. Quite a graphic looking image. Uh, there it is, Auckland City. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.